The third movement is called bass drum. Just imagine a big old high school marching band bass drum right out in front of you. And your fingertips are going to circle around the edges of the drum. Your hands will be about a foot apart. Some of my students like to practice with a paper towel tube. It helps them be very mindful of the hands staying at an equal distance, no matter where they are around the edge of the drum. And remember that your drum is round. And remember that your drum isn't so big you can't see over it, or that would be a lot more work for your arms, wouldn't it? Big old high school marching band bass drum. Also note the flexibility in the wrists as your hands circle down, the wrists literally hang down. And as your hands circle up, the wrists literally come back. So your fingertips are mostly pointing towards the ground at the bottom and mostly pointing towards the sky at the top. You might also feel that sense of polarity in this movement that we discussed in Bird Flaps Its Wings. Many people report that it's very powerful during this movement. So from the grounded position, sink all your weight into your right leg, extend your left, hands come to about the middle of your body, flow forward and circle around that drum. This may be one of the most popular movements in Tai Chi Cha. Many people have a very clear understanding of where their Dantian is when they're doing this movement because as your hands come back, the Dantian kind of gets out of the way. graceful conclusion. With the right foot out. Focus on the soles of your feet. Last one. Graceful conclusion. <sighs>